matter no the black dollar matters and this is the reason why you have these corporations and companies coming out saying black lives matter and it's crazy because once you do the research on some of these old corporations and companies you'll find out that they either owned or sold or funded slavery they sold slaves they they own slaves they funded slavery. You know, they're the ones that, that uh, had insurance on the slave ships. L gave out loans for other people to buy slaves. So, don't give me that Black Lives Matter mess to me. Because I can see through the BS. If it really mattered, to, you know, Black Lives Matter to, Mc, to McDonald's, then guess what, McDonald's, you will stop putting your restaurants in the hood, knowing that you're not serving real meat, knowing that these people that's in the hood are in food deserts where they can't, can't get fresh produce like lettuce, tomatoes, cabbage, carrots. You would pack your bags up, McDonald's that is, and leave out of the hood. But you won't. You'll continue to sell that garbage on the dollar menu. <laughs> if you were Walmart and you really felt like Black Lives Matter, you would pack up and you would apologize for the damage that you have caused by demolishing mom and pop stores. And people wonder why. I'm going I'm to break it down to you right now. People wonder why, you know, the mom and pop stores. Let's say, for example, if you're selling a bag of chips, right? The Doritos bag of chips, right? Doritos at the mom's and pop st store cost $2, right? Well, Walmart will sell it two for $1. And the reason why is because it's a bigger store. It's a bigger corporation. It's a, it's a corporation. That has the money to market and advertise and buy whole buy in bulk wholesale. The mom and pop store can't keep up with that. So they have to buy in um incremental in small increments. So let's say for example, Walmart, they could buy 500 bags of Doritos and get it at a cheaper price than the mom and pop stores. Mom and pop stores can only buy 50 bags of um, Doritos potato chips. So therefore, the wholesale price that they would have to pay would be much more than the wholesale price that Walmart would have to pay. But Walmart would put, pack his bags up and say, we apologize to the black community for demolishing the mom and pop stores as well as <laughs> the, the mechanic, the black mechanics. The ones that was were, were, were prior to Walmart moving into our community, the ones that were changing our oil, changing our batteries, air filters, doing things in inside the car, outside the interior, exterior. But when Walmart came, it destroyed black entrepreneurship in the form of a mom and pop store and your local me black mechanic that used to change your oil but now you go to Walmart because it's cheaper so I know good and goddamn well when it comes to examples such as McDonald's and Walmart black lives don't matter the black dollar does the black dollar matters and I'd rather for y'all to be gangster and say that than to disguise yourself as if you are very, very sincere and you're not. You're not. Because we can see through the BS. This is another fiasco. 
This is another game that's being played. And I'm sick and tired of the black community falling for it. I just am. And it's ridiculous. And matter of fact, I'm going to stop pushing this hashtag Black Lives Matter stuff. Because we all know that that's funded by a white man. And that slogans like, hands up, don't shoot, I can't breathe, gets us nowhere. Nowhere. I had a dude, y'all, 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 y'all know who he is. Pretty, pretty Ricky. That was in a story that I was telling. If y'all are really diehard Langston 2092, I ain't gonna say fans, part of the family, you know who I'm talking about. You know, we had a disagreement and whatever have you. But at the end of the day, guess what? That man is being more revolutionary than anyone that I know. Because he's telling people to practice the Second Amendment, which is the right to bear arms. Period. It's a difference when you are defending and protecting yourself. And I mean no harm because people protest in different ways. I just disagree with walking down the street with Al, Sh Al Sharpton saying we shall overcome one day. I'm not doing it. It didn't work for Dr. Martin Luther King and it damn for sure ain't gonna work for me. And I don't care. I don't care if y'all say, you know, lengthen you're yelling, you're screaming, you're this and that. Yo, I'm emotional, man. I am angry. I am upset because I'm sick and tired of this, man. I'm sick of it. And we should know better now. We should know better now. Just like Lord Jamal said. He said that we in an abusive relationship that we know that the, that, 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 uh, that, that the person we're, we're, we're uh, dating is going to continue whipping our ass but we still not trying to get out of the relationship and it makes no sense that I got to continue to say this mess I got to continue to contradict myself by stating I'm not going to talk about this anymore but then I turn around and, do, and, and talk about it this is ridiculous this is ridiculous it's not hard pause for you to spend your, your black dollar elsewhere. I know I did a video about I'm not supporting black owned businesses. Let me correct myself because I think you're sadly mistaken. I think y'all got it twisted up in here. I will not support black owned businesses that ain't worth shit. Where their product is horrible. I'm not doing it. I don't care if they're black. I worked hard for my money and I deserve to put my money to invest my money into something that's worthy of my black dollar. But it makes it, it doesn't make no damn sense how we can't take our money and invest it in, into a black owned business that's really doing good things. That really has good products such as D-Herbs. D-Herbs.com It's not hard. It's not hard to, to say that I'm not buying from Gucci anymore. What the... I gotta breathe. Do, do you think that you're gonna die if you don't buy if you don't buy Gucci? Do you think that you're gonna die if you if you stop wearing Tommy Hilfiger, a polo? Y'all can never come over my house. Y'all can never come over my house ever. You will be bored. You wanna know why? I don't have no cable, none. What do I need it for? What do I need a, a thousand thousand channels? You know you know what? The reason, you know what got us here in this situation is because we watch too much goddamn TV. And we ain't out here doing what we need to be doing. Schooling your children. Teaching your children how to write, to, to, to shoot that gun and aim. Teaching your children your, their, their history. We too busy watching and binging over some goddamn shows that means nothing. Most of your, your I, I peep y'all out. I peep some of your channels out. Most of the shows that y'all look at, it's all white. 
and then you get on this, vi then you get on my channel talking about some. Oh, you 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 ain't black enough. Well, your selection of movies and 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 um uh uh soap uh, soap opera sh shows are all white, and if they not, they ratchet. Look at that love and hip. -hop. Where is that gonna get you? Where is that gonna get you? Y'all wouldn't survive at my house. I don't have no meat in my refrigerator. Y'all think I'm joking? Y'all think like it's just play play with me? Y'all be as here, here and there with my food. Meaning that I be eating little junk food here and there. But for the most part, it ain't nothing but a jungle inside my refrigerator. Black dollars matter. Black dollars matter. And these corporations and companies know it. The only people that don't know it are persons. It is us. We out here screaming, talking about Black Lives Matter, but it don't matter to us. We out here screaming, saying that Black Dollars Matter, but it doesn't matter to us. Because if it did, and if we mattered to one another, we wouldn't be shooting one another. And we would be trying to come together and, and police our own communities and form our own government and say, saying that we don't need anybody. We got our own back. But what we want to do, do the same shit that we've seen. We've seen this movie too many goddamn times. I mean, like, literally. They come out with a slave movie once a year, or they come out with a Martin Luther King movie once a year. And if it ain't once a year, it's once every other year. <laughs> we shall overcome one day. If it ain't just Jesse Jackson, if it ain't that that dude, <laughs> y'all gonna laugh. I don't like this dude, man. And if it ain't that lawyer that that they hire all the goddamn time that can't speak, <laughs> I forgot his name. The black dude that can't speak, and he he he's uh, Tamir Rice Rice's uh, um, lawyer, um, and now he's George Floyd's lawyer. He's based out of Florida, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sorry that I, I forgot his name, but you know who I'm talking about. He sound all illiterate, but he I, I guess he may get the job done on a on a, um like on a level of getting money. You know, for the family. But for the most part, man, you like 0 and 18 when it, <laughs> when it comes to putting police officers that kill black men in jail. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna see it no more. We shall overcome Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, the dude, the lawyer, that talk like that. I man, I I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. I don't wanna see it. I'm calling y'all out. We're the Hebrew Israelites. I'm calling y'all out. We're the New Wabians. I'm calling y'all out. We're the five percenters. I want I'm calling y'all out. We're the nation of Islam. I'm calling y'all out. Where the Moors at? I thought you I thought <laughs> I ain't gonna go there. I ain't gonna go there. I mean, I ain't gonna. I'm not. Yo, cause man, sometimes I really get tired of like, you know, going there with people. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Where y'all at, man? We ain't. We, where Jesus at? What, what would Jesus do? I mean, come on, man. When are y'all gonna get it? When are y'all gonna understand that all we have is us? Ain't nobody coming to save us, no organization, none of that. None of that. Y'all talking about free doctor, y'all. What, what the hell he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Oh, oh, y'all. <laughs> I ain't gonna go there. What, he gonna bring Nubiru down? <laughs> he gonna bring a spaceship down. <laughs> and 140,000. <laughs> If y'all not familiar with Dr. York, man, look him up. It's Dr. Melakazi York. Yeah, yo, the, the man made he 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 was epic, yo. He while he was out, you know what I'm saying? He's in jail for, you know, molesting a bunch of children, doing 135 years. But yo, man, you know, do your do your research on him, man. Man was amazing comic book writer, man. I'm telling you, Stan Lee <laughs> shit on Dr. York. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, yo, the black dollar matters, man. Put it in the right place. Black lives matter. Let's start being conscious about how we treat one another. And when that happens, if and when that happens, man, you're going to see a big difference. And I literally mean a big difference. Instead of that kumbaya, my lord, with our Sharpton. Other than that, I want y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video. One.